All right, how's it going? I'm gonna show you how to create a skin, hopefully within a couple minutes here. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open TXD Workshop and we're going to extract the images from the model file that we'll be editing. Um, you should have gone ahead and exported any models that you want to edit with any kind of image editor. But anyway, let's go to my assets here, which is where I'm keeping everything. And we have a TXD file here, so we'll open that. And we're going to click on the WFYST, which is the main skin. And we're going to export the TGA. And we're going to go ahead and save over the one that I already have there. Okay, so we have that exported. So now let's go ahead and go into the model editing. So we're going to open 3ds Max. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new one here. So don't save that. Okay. And we're going to use Cam's GTA scripts to import the file that we need. So we're going to minimize the export and we're going to uh, open up the import DFF. Now we're going to select the A here, which auto skins. And then we're going to go import DFF. And then we're going to select our model and hit open. So here it is, right here in the center, as you can see. And now we're going to skin the character real quick so we know what we're working with. And it gives it a, a better idea of what we can uh, see here. So we're going to take the TGA file that we exported, and we're just going to drag and drop it right over. Just like that. Easy enough, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to actually reset my perspective here. Or go home. There we go. Okay, so we're going to reset that. And we're going to set this to edged faces if you haven't done that already, which is just like that. All right, now we can see everything that we're working with. So this is how we do skins, or I do skins, really. So we're going to select uh, edible mesh, we're going to go to polygon, and we're going to select a few areas that we want to, say, add a logo to. So I'm going to go ahead and go here, 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 and just kind of, I think just, uh, just like this. Okay, so we're going to have that, and we're going to go to, um, we're going to go ahead and do... Oh, how are we going to do this? Okay, so we're going to unwrap it. So we're going to go to the modifier list. Then we're going to go to unwrap UVW. We're going to click it and then expand upon it. And then we're going to go down to polygon, just like that. And then we're going to go down to the projection mapping. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do a quick planner map. So when we do that, the yellow box down here represents... Um, the position of our UV map and where it's pulling the texture from. So what's important about it is we need to get the perspective of the front of the shirt is what we're going to try to map. So if we go up here and do select and move, we're going to move this out like this. And then we're going to scale. So we're going to only select the Y, just like this. And then we need to rotate it. So if we go to select and rotate, we're going to use the, I believe it's the X axis for the rotation. And we're going to rotate it until we get it pretty much just in the front. Okay. Then we're going to move the planner map so that it goes like back like this. And then we're going to get it just in front of it. Basically, think of it as a camera is what you're looking at. So you want the camera to only see this specific part. It's like your viewpoint for the mapping. Okay, so then we're going to go to open UV editor, which is under edit UVs. And you'll see that we now have the polygons specifically selected for that. So we're going to go ahead and select all of this by using this tool up here, the freeform mode, and we're going to rotate it. So we're going to we're gonna need that. We're gonna need to select everything here by selecting vertices, which is down here in the bottom left. Then we're gonna use the freeform mode and rotate it 90 degrees so that it's basically straight here. That's pretty close, actually. Can I get it any closer? Mm. There we go. That's good enough. So then we're gonna select everything and kind of move it around. So that's like right in the center. Okay, then we're gonna go to the tools and we're gonna go to render UVW template. 
and we're going to make this 512 by 512. You can also make it 124 by 124 for higher resolution, but we're just going to stick to 512 by 512. So now we're going to render the UV template and you'll get something like this. So this is the image that we're going to be actually editing. So we're going to save it and we're going to do, or we're going to save it as logo. So logo.tj, let's save that and just go ahead and hit OK. Don't worry about any of this. We're going to go, go like that. OK. So now we're going to edit logo.tga, and here it is. So we can do a few things to this, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you exactly how this works. So if we want to add a logo to this, we're going to select the area. And basically, we kind of want to add a difference between the two so that we like anybody that edits our file can kind of see what we did to it, which is kind of something that everybody really needs to do. It helps with um, small issues and whatnot, just makes it better for the community as a whole. But we're going to use the pen tool to make a selection. We're going to invert. And we're just going to make the outside white so that we have a difference. And then we're going to select the inside just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and make it black. OK, so here is our UVW mapping. So this would contain any kind of texturing or whatever, but we're just making a logo, so this is really simple. So we're going to make some text, and I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, let's just put Ivy, just like that. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. OK. And that's pretty much all I need to do. As long as it's within this black box, I should be fine. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to make it a TGA. Oops, TGA, logo.tga, save, replace, done. Minimize that. And now what we do is we go back to 3ds Max here. And we need to add the texture to this um, image here. So we're going to go unwrap UVW. And we're going to go ahead and do polygon. Select our polygons like that. And... We just drag our logo. Oop, that is not what we wanted. I'm sorry. One moment. OK. So we're going to go like this. Collapse to. Yes. OK, so we still have our icon or our stuff here selected. So we, we collapsed our UVW mapping. So the UV mapping is now working on the model itself. Then we just drag and drop logo on our selected area after after going like this and making sure we have all of this selected here I'm sorry we have to expand on it and make sure that skin isn't selected so we have polygon selected here Windows 10 is killing me right now okay so we're gonna drag our logo on just like that okay and for some reason, the UVW is actually backwards, but that's OK. We can just invert the text here, or reverse it for that matter. And let's see. Text, edit, transform, flip horizontal, save, T uh, TGA, done. OK. So then we go back in here. OK, now it's straight. So as you can see, the text is on there. It looks properly propor proportioned. And now we're going to go ahead and go to the material editor. Now the material editor can be pressed up here, or you can press M. OK, and because we're using Cam's GTA scripts, we now have something called GTA material. Go ahead and double click this. And then we're going to go ahead and double click the thing in the center. And we're going to go over here where it says color and click on none. Then we're going to go to bitmap, press OK. And we're going to select the image that we want to uh, import into the model itself. So we're going to go to my assets and we're going to go to logo.tga. So if we open that, it is now linked, which means we now need to import this into the txt file. So we need to export the DFF, so DFFIO, export bone skin export. We're going to go ahead and go to our assets folder and we're going to save over 
the one that we created. I accidentally deleted it, but it's called wfyst.dff for me. It can be a different model for you. So we save it. Okay, so we have the DFF now here. Now the next step is to open the txd file in txd workshop. Open txd, wfyst. Now we need to check the DFF to ensure that our materials are properly in the, in the file itself. Like what do we need to add to the txd file? So we go to this lovely little tool called DFF check and we're gonna open this. And as you can see, we have WFYST and we are missing logo. So we need to import logo. So what we do is we can basically image duplicate the one we have, WFYST, then we're gonna edit it. So double click, we're gonna say change it to logo and then we're gonna change it to logo A. And we can compress it as well if we'd like. Okay, so now we have logo and we're gonna replace it. So we do this, just drag and drop it right on there, and then we're gonna refresh. Okay, so we have logo A, and we're gonna go ahead and turn off alpha transparency because I do believe it's not used here, so we don't need to worry about that. So there, everything is now, or everything is now imported into the DFF. Um, the earring, if anything has like another, you need to import each additional texture if it has additional textures on it, but I'm not gonna worry about the earring right now, we're just covering the UV mapping. Okay, so we save the TXD, and now we should be able to see it in game. So, um, let's see, we go to my assets here, and we're gonna go ahead and import this into the game. So, where is it? We'll go computer, games, and I'm using mod loader, so I'm gonna go to my skins, and I'm just going to actually drag my old one out and I'm gonna replace it since that's the skin I'm using in game right now. So, just rename these real quick, just to test it in game. Okay, we're all ready to roll, so let's go in game and check it out and see if it worked. So if we hop in game. Give it a few minutes while it all loads up. Okay. Now let's see if our skin properly showed. Showed up, however you want to explain that. And we have an issue. So I believe that the alpha needs to be present. So let me just do this real quick and go back to my TXD editor, my assets, uh, or we'll go to GTA tools, workshop, um, skins. So open that real quick. And I do believe this actually, oh yeah. So logo A, okay, save see if it worked because I can just refresh my modifications in game options mod skins off And it doesn't, be I don't believe it's working right now. So let's just quick Q, try again.
Okay. So here's our model here. We're going to go ahead and... Modifications, skins, turn this on. There we go. So here it is in game. With the actual text there and everything. And that's about it. Wonderful. Anyway, so that about covers that. And hopefully we can see some more skins around here, huh? Eh?